Well, growing up in a small community uh, was pretty, I guess, not unique. Most every, most every community at that time was just kind of little, small rural areas. Uh, main influence in our lives then were, you know, our teachers, uh, Boy Scout leaders, baseball coaches. Everybody was poor, uh, but we didn't know that because everybody, nobody had anything uh, but each other. And but it was a, it was a good experience, a fun time. Uh, I, don't know that I would trade it for, for anything because I think it helped me to become the person I am today. Probably the, the man that I wanted most to be like was my dad. Um, my dad was a hard working man, didn't have very much formal education. Uh, he had to quit school early to help take care of his family, but that family was always important. So working and taking care of family was, was what I learned from him. And I was always good in math, so I chose to major in math and get my degree in that area and what I was going to do with it, I had no idea. Uh, I thought I might want to be an engineer and, and build bridges and do that kind of thing, but uh, that didn't work out. When I went to college, I said, I'm going to go to college because there's two things I don't want to do, and that's teach school or sell insurance. And that's all I've ever done. Uh, the first job I had was uh, teaching school. I uh, taught junior high for a year and a half, and uh, that didn't suit me very well. That was I just was ill-prepared to do that from an emotional standpoint. So I interviewed with Allstate Insurance Company and got that job and decided, well, I'll do this for a little while until I decide what it is I really want to do. And that's been 34 years later. I'm you know, still doing it. You know, Chris and I, you know, 33 years in the insurance business together, uh, we We've, we've just bonded immensely in our customers and our clients really appreciate the fact that it doesn't matter uh, which one of us provided them with the service originally, that they can get the highest level of customer service from either of us. In fact, we've been together so long until some even say that we even look alike. Chris was a person that could always be realistic about what the problems were but optimistic enough and positive enough to see about what the what what could it be what are the possibilities here and he could always focus on you know how do we get from looking at the problems to looking at what we can be and then what do we do to get there he's as honest and loyal as anybody i've ever met um, you know in, in his business i know that served him well because he um, you know if he could do the right thing and the best thing for a customer he would lay that out, and he, I know he hoped that they would do business with him, but if it was not the right thing, he would send them elsewhere. And that's, that's the kind of business person that you want to deal with. There have been times where, you know, I'd have to call home and tell Marge, honey, I'll be a little late tonight because. Uh, but you got to be determined to make the calls, to do what's necessary, uh, to make your business successful. Uh, doesn't happen overnight. Um, this success is just kind of over time, and it happens and you don't even notice it happening and all of a sudden you wake up one day and it's, I'm in a pretty good position. Chris is just an all out kind of guy and he loves people and he's a hard worker. He volunteers for some of everything. He's always available to help in any way that he possibly can. We always, we got a kick out of this. One of our uh, board members called the office uh, uh, just recently and wanted to speak with Chris. They really thought he worked here because he devotes so much time to, to Volunteers of America. One did not have the opportunity to see him perform on stage. It's, uh, gosh, is that, is that a fun thing? My, my favorite time seeing Chris was years ago when I took, my wife and I took our children to uh, to see him in the Jungle Book as Baloo. There's never been a better Baloo. We were doing the show 101 Dalmatians, and uh, I had a part in that, a small part in that show, and uh, all of a sudden one of the guys that was going to play the, the, the dog nappers uh, got a part in the play Steel Magnolia's down in uh, Natchitoches. It was about 88, 89, and uh, so she said, well, you've got to play now the, the dog napper. I've got to be Jasper, the one that steals the dogs, and I'm thinking, I can't do that. But after I started the rehearsals, uh, it just felt so good and natural being there and, and, and my kids were there and we were having such a good time and uh, that was my first play and I've probably done 50 since then. I've been doing it for like 19 years. I like to 
kid Chris about being a frustrated actor and you know he's been on stage a few times and you can see when he gets a microphone in front of him he'll light up and uh, you can just tell that if he weren't selling insurance and giving to the community he'd probably be on stage somewhere and it's just kind of a funny side to him that I enjoy watching. He's, he's not quite this uh, nicest man in, in uh, northwest Louisiana um, and I think I speak on behalf of Margie, his wife. I mean, she's been wanting to retire for a few years now and he just won't let her do that. I think if he were really the nice guy that everybody thinks he is, he'd let Margie retire. I always tell her, I say, you know, God made you especially for me. I just had to find you. And uh, it's so odd. I grew up in South Louisiana. She grew up in North Louisiana. So we were like miles apart. Uh, but as, as God does, he will lead you where he needs you to go. And uh, I just followed my heart and she accepted. I think that uh, the day she said she'd marry me made me the happiest man in the world. I got to see him at a lot of functions. And so I knew him at work and through the professional side, but I got to know him personally and through our children. And he was not only at the functions, he was involved. And I just saw him with kind of that firm yet soft hand of giving guidance to his daughter and to his family. And just, you know, I would say giving good guidance involvement and uh, uh, the support that you would want from somebody like that. He was a dad. He was a dad's dad. He did everything. I mean, took us on trips. He was, you know, the basketball coach, the softball coach, played all the sports. He was at all the games, you know, never missed a dance line function for me or my sister. I mean, that was almost eight straight years of dance line that he has on tape that he never missed one day of. And. Um, I remember I even sent him to school when I was sick to go record him because I was, I was too sick to go and he was, at, he was like, I'll do it. I'm 27 years old and there's still things that I remember from when I was five that my dad taught me that I still to this day do the same things. And that's, I mean, that's just how he is. And he just makes, he makes you want to do what he says. Like he just, just something about him, the charisma, something, he just makes you want to do it. And so he just, he makes you feel like a better person. Just being an example of what you really want in the business community and in life. Uh, I think he's an example to a lot of people that we can all look up to and say, that's the kind of person that we all should strive to be. He works so hard. He is uh, uh, devoted to anything that he gets involved in. He's a wonderful family man. He's a, um, he does a wonderful job for the people who, who come to him. He does wonderful things for organizations like Volunteers of America. We're, we're truly blessed that he chose to live in this area. The fact that he's done all this, but at the same time, being just as involved in our lives, being there for everything we've done, to be able to stretch himself like that, like, it, it's amazing to me. I mean, it makes him even more remarkable than he's already been. I'm just honored to be able to say that Chris is not only my business partner, but he's my friend. And I tell you, one certainly could not ask for a better friend in this life than to have someone like Chris Gabriel.